sometimes we miss our live sessions but as i share from my garden in stony hill i've been listening to some lovely birds this morning and i've been having such an an, an interesting morning because shared in the morning meditation with my yogis you know um mrs Sandra, sharon paris chambers very interesting very interesting meditation um, I did with her and yogis exercise was feeling a bit dizzy and tired after some of her um, her, her exercises but um, her meditative exercises on breathing but as they say as you go along you get strung up and stronger um, my experience is, is positive I believe because I've learned about her um, her insights and her um, the things she does and what she does which everybody's entitled to be different I'm the person who learned to agree to disagree love everybody no matter what and how they do their thing um, her book seems very interesting so I can't wait to read her book in addition, um, th their, their focus today was on crystals. And you know, I'm always into my crystal using. So in my meditations as well. So it is very, um, very informative to know that they use the crystals as well with their meditations and focus because you know, crystals are very good in cleansing. And, and keeping your focus so guys i'm gonna be lighting up my incense and getting ready is i don't have to use two hands to strike i suppose they can use one hand but that's if it will strike if it will work it's not on it's a new lighter you know so it's taking its while to it's taking its while to light up and because it has been down for the whole upside down must be not lighting but i got it yesterday at the shop <laughs> yes it did light ready oh i must put the wind is always blowing it out the wind outside is very windy so let's hope yeah you know, I like light up in front of you guys already. Sure is windy this morning, don't it? Did it? It's smoking? Because hmm. you know I like to give my share of offerings to the universe to the gods of the universe yeah mm -hmm. just the mannerable thing to do when you're when you're um, using up the energies of the using up you'd like to give back something to you know and offer offer good penance don't it you can just take and take and take and don't give back the lord won't bless you so so see my guys there i have my water my um my my my, my incense light up my little crystal things i have my um bible so to start a morning meditations and my stretches so guys this is how I do it with my morning meds and it has been healing me over the years so this is my self-healing therapy that um, keeps me going and keeps me strong because I I don't think I'm as strong as some people I see do some things and I'm like oh you guys strong so but then it comes to practice how you practice what you practice
sleepy and was getting very sleepy and dizzy which means it kind of sucked my energy so much that I was more relaxed than geared up for take to take on the day the day ahead so my exercises basically are are based on stronging you up to take on the challenges of the day ahead you know or the week ahead or whatever to come you know it's it's well I don't know it will affect different people differently because some people may fall asleep in the process yeah some people may um, stay awake because you know how exercise works with different people it's something like a drug you see like how some people will smoke the marijuana plant and then it depends on the individual some people may sleep afterwards while some people becomes energized yeah some people get so fully energized that they can do a lot more than what they would normally do while some people smoke it or drink the tea and it just make them relax and sleep and, and just be lazier so it depends on the individual certain techniques and exercises we do depends on the individual wow some worker coming to work and him rubbing in bike man him all enthused they're doing construction in my area so we're getting a lot more mansions building up because you know we're in the hills and up in the hills there's a lot of land space that needs utilizing so sometimes they dynamite out the, the um the, the rocks and you know make some some space for houses to be constructed but this morning passage that we will read let me bring my little table let me put the laptop on my table mm -hmm. suppose they can see me from there yes guys so as I say the whole focus is I don't have my microphone so I hope I'm not too loud I'm not too soft right I'm, I hope I'm not too soft and I should bring my table a little closer let's hope my fruits don't drop off but it is warming up for after my meditation Ooh, the tilt in here tilt in here is it okay after my meditation I have my fruits because you know in the morning sun I like to do that so this morning God knows our thoughts right Psalms 93 we will read this morning the Lord reigneth, he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established, that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord who on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. Yeah? Another psalm we'll read is encouragement to all. Because you know this is... Um, the Saturday before Palm Sunday, and you know we're on this party length, party night journey, the Lenten season. So some of us need some serious encouragement in this period, right? <laughs> because when I talk to some people, all them they're Lord Chris, we need money. Me on the trials, and then what money? And we want money. And we want money. And it's money, money, money. Me say, but at the same time, we want money, yes, but we still can't kill ourselves over trying to get the money. So we have to pray about it, meditate on it, do the right things, and money will come into our life. Money will flow to us abundantly because that is what everybody needs. Money, money, money. Yeah? We need love of ourselves too and love of humankind. So yes, we need money and we need love of humankind. We need love of ourselves because if you have money and you don't love yourself, you're going to abuse yourself and you're going to abuse others. 
with the money too because some people have so much little things in them that you know they don't use the money wisely you know so sometimes money is not all sometimes love of each other love of neighbor love of self because you love yourself you feed yourself properly and because you feed yourself properly and you, you love yourself you can love your neighbor where you try and encourage them to eat properly too yes yeah? so farming farming the right foods very organic and healthy not too much fertilizer fast grow you grow it so fast it force ripe you understand force ripe foods don't have the right nourishments that you you need to nourish your bodies you need those organic type growth foods so you nourish yourself properly so Psalm 95 encouragement to all to hang in there do the right thing as them say we journey to the cross after the cross we rise again right so we're gonna rise again so oh come let us sing unto the Lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms for the lord is a great god and a great king above all gods in his hand are the deep places of the earth the strength of the hill is his also the sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land oh come let us wish and bow down let us kneel before our Lord, our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Today, if ye will hear His voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work, forty years long was I grieved with this generation, and said it, is a people that do err in their heart and they have not known my ways unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest yeah so my darlings my darlings that was Psalm 95 the Psalm of encouragement for all right so at the same time guys we are journeying with the cross yes whatever crosses you have as i said metaphorically it's not it's not in the ancient days so some people new generation people and people who don't follow god can't understand what we're talking about and what we're doing but it's metaphorically right we enact out the carrying of the cross because the cross can come in the form that's something that's very heavy to deal with something that's very hard to deal with yeah so metaphorically speaking that is what we mean when we're carrying the cross right so as we carry the cross we're gonna trust in the Lord right Psalm 114 when Israel went out of Egypt and the house of Jacob from a people of strange language Judah was his sanctuary and Israel his dominion the sea saw it and fled Jordan was driven back, the mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thee sea, that thou fleddest? Thou Jordan, that thou waste, driv was driven back. Ye mountains, that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water the flint into a fountain of waters yeah so that's our third psalm you know i like doing things in threes so as people say sometimes them say lord chrissy you're coming like a little god are you going like your god or whatever yes god is within me so yes my dear sometimes we go on like gods but god is within me and you know? there's an ever bigger ever powerful god around the place that we need to focus to our energies on and ask for anything you want ask for healing of self heal me lord heal me bless me give me health and strength give me the strength i need to do the work that you want me to do to praise you and to save save myself from all harms right and keep me safe and put me into areas where we can keep safe out of harm's way 
because only you O oh Lord is the ever powerful and know all things so as we pray we ask God heal us to heal us give us the blessings that he uh, he rewards us with for doing his deeds so heal me Lord heal me and say thank you thank you God thank you thank you and you hold your body and you touch your body yes hold it hold it keep your focus as myself you have your water and you drink your water mm -hmm. <coughs> if you get thirsty and you're choking <laughs> from this morning's meditation with paris <coughs> <coughs> As they shared, yes, drinking your water and keeping your crystal is cleansing. So, we try to drink our spring water. Our spring water, you understand, eliminates most of the chlorine, chlorines that the, the mankind put into the water that is actually helping to make us sick. So, drinking the spring water, purified water, clean water, is very helpful. And that is what we need to focus on. Yeah? drinking healthy water to heal our bodies keep us healthy and 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 keep us strong yeah because our bodies can heal ourselves so as i'm saying guys our meditative and stretching exercises is to help us strong up strong up our bodies so we can continue doing more work so maybe we might not be able to can lift up a whole 20 pound 50 pound thing and walk with for miles and miles and stuff but the good thing is that we can lift up our own bodies yeah and from you can lift up your own bodies then that is a good sign that is a plus right so i'm gonna go into some of my stretching exercises yeah so let me put back my table out a little more so you can see a little better from the distance yeah I put it in the shady spot here. You're gonna go forward, but when you're pulling yourself up, remember use your tummy muscles, your back muscles to help you up. Try not to use your hands. That is just the hard part, right? And we don't want you hurt yourself. So if you can't do it, use your hand to help you back up. One, at least five times, right? Two. when you're doing it you know again whoa ah <laughs> how was holding up your hand that was hard yeah shake it out so if you can Take it out, rub it out with your fingers, yeah. Get into cat position. Arch the back if you can. Pump the back up. Breathe in the exercises, yeah. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah. Extend your back leg out. I don't know if you can see. Extend one arm out. Woo. Keep the balance if you can. For five counts. If you can go more, then good for you. One, two, three, four. Ooh, can you see? The leg is at the back out. Extend the hand forward. One, two, three, four, five. You can hold it longer, please. And down. Whew, breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Ah, yeah. And I go up into mound position. So bring your foot on the shelf. On your shelf of your toes. Okay, foot back up. And use one leg up if you can. Down. Balance on the other leg. Down. Go down into Cobra. Look to the sun and breathe. And then stretch the arms out because I know that hurt. Woo. yourself up remember using your tummy muscles back muscles Put your hands to the sun your palms to the sun taking that that energy ah, put your hand together and touch yourself feel me okay go forward it to the side, stretch out, leg up, one, two, three, four, five, breathe and exhale, right, at least five counts, to know that you can lift your leg up, on its own there was a time in my life when i couldn't lift my leg up i couldn't lift nothing up right ready again one two three four five Very good. Roll over on your tummy. You're going to lift the leg back up. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Five. Gonna do a back stretch, yeah? Or a tummy stretch. <laughs> Both of them are. Ah, uh, five. Relax. Lift your foot up. Five. And 
down. So why not? Thank you. Heal me. Heal me. Give me the health and strength to do your work. Thank you. Thank you. I do a long stretch. Hold it. Breathe at the same time, you know, breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, other leg, up, stretch. No, the shoulders out and your sides out.
do some squat up in the mount position gonna do some squat wake you up up energize Three, go down again, squat down, up, four, feel me, taking your energies from the sunlight, morning sunlight, get together, wherever you feel pains, just touch your hands there, right, and breathe, feel me. Because if you don't and be healthy, you're going to spend out all that money the Lord bless you with into medical bills and doctor bills and medical medi and medications. Unless that is what you want your money for. But me, when I have money, my money goes into taking care of me to the best of my ability. Maintain the houses that I have, pay the staff that is around to help. Just do the work and say, all right, see you later. <laughs> you understand them? Say, Chrissy, when am I going to get paid to do whatever work I do for you? If I don't have it, the good thing the Lord bless me with some good people in my life that even if I can't pay them right away, them know that I will work the money, get the money together to pay them. So I am blessed that way. And that's why I say, I am so blessed because the type of people in my environment, the type of people I encourage in my environment and around me understands that, that, you know, I'm not going to steal them, I'm not going to cheat them. And if I get money, them can get back something out of me. Because as the word go to whom much is given, much is expected. And to be honest with you guys, me get enough. God has blessed me with so much, so much things that I have that I get to can share with you guys so when I get money I share it with you know when I get my, my knowledge my wisdom my knowledge and understand it I share it with you when I get to 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 who much is given much is expected so therefore I continue to do things and the Lord will continue to reward me and bless me as I go along on this journey of this beautiful sunshine locks Mr. Wilkins my tree remember how we my cousins cut it on So, you know, I'm just grateful. 
the coconut. I'm gonna share the coconut, drop off a little coconut when they're ready. Some some good, some not good. So what's up tree? Drop off little fruits for me. Cut I hear my gratefulness. You know, the fruits that I I <coughs> have the first thing in the morning. I'm gonna share my fruits with you like how I finish. My meditation. Let me carry my table back up because I love to share with the, the plants around me that nourish me with the fruits that I eat, with the very fruits that I eat. I love to nourish, share with them and let them see that I'm grateful. So let's look at my plate this morning. Yeah, I've got bananas, oranges, mango strips, pineapples, papaya. You see? And guys, this is what I try to do early morning. Early mornings is eat some fruits. The fruits from the trees around me. Mm. I made the sour sap. I made sour sap juice. So um, I've been drinking my sour sap juice because the tree dropped off sour sap for me. <laughs> And since I learned, learned the, the whole nourishment of certain fruits, the vitamin sour sap is very good for your nerves. Very good for people who can't sleep and all them things. Yeah? My pineapple. Mm. So having, um... having my fruits and watching the birds from my garden is a pleasure it's a pleasure and it's a blessing for me and I am grateful I'm very grateful guys I got to have this kind of peace and tranquility in my life but as one little monster in your taught me you know Chrissy in this world to make it a better place to live into you have to come out of your peace and tranquil environment sometimes and go interact with the noisy the pestilence of society <laughs> and share with them the blessings that you have hmm? the blessings may come in forms of knowledge hmm? high quality education we can teach somebody something that's a blessing you know the blessing might comes into uh, skills and talent something you can share with somebody see somebody trying to do something and you know how to do it and you know how to do it so easily you can share with them offer them your your, your little talents mm -hmm. and say come let me show you how to do it you're not doing it properly or some people may take that as an insult so you can't tell them they're not doing it properly just say i do that too you know but i do it a different way that is a little bit more subtle and a little more nicer way to share your talents and your ability with other people when you see them doing their thing their way if they're trying to do it and them say this is hard i can't do it and whatever then you can offer and say would you like me to do that for you i know how to do it then that's the sharing your blessings too yeah some people get money when you have money that's a blessing because money can help to purchase things and pay for labors for other people to use and pay for things for yourself and all that which can make your life a little bit easier because without money sometimes people don't want to do nothing at all for you you know it's not all the time and sometimes people get frustrated with people always begging 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 and never have, ever have the money to pay for it themselves so money is very 
a very big blessing into people's lives too. So if you get money, you can share that too because you can contribute some money to a cause. Contribute some money to somebody who is in need. Or pay for whatever bills you have and whatever things you see that would benefit you as well as society that you live into because we all want the society to be a better place to live into and if you are blessed to live in a the the the, the past society as so as life aims the people in life aims to get to you know a, a society where you can live peacefully and comfortable and everything you want going to be in peace and comfort mm -mm. knowing you have other people out there that will pick on you because <laughs> their life is miserable so they come looking for you to see if you can help them to find joy that 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 you have found hmm? so sometimes it's good to go out and offer yourself to these people and maybe that's why I reach out now and again on the live shows and stuff because a lot of people say they love hearing my live shows. <laughs> I didn't know that until I hear some people message me in box and say, Chrissy, I always like watch your live show. I enjoy it. Keep doing it. It keeps me motivated and excited and happy all when things are not going so well with them. They say they love it. They love it. They love it. So thanks for the share and the insight of your mind of what you think. I appreciate that thought. So I continue to share whenever I get the time to because sharing is caring. And if you care about the society that you live into, the people that surround you, you will try your best to um, reach out to them the best way you can to share what it is that you have to share because you can't share what you don't have yeah some people want other things and if you don't have it to share then how are you gonna share that but you can share what you have which is whatever it is whatever it is you know or you know what you have hmm? you know what you have and you know how you acquired and the way in which you acquire what you have acquired is supposed to be some form of gift from God. It's how you utilize and how you look on your gift that you get. Hmm? And sometimes you're like, why did I get, get, um, let's think now, something that's a pet peeve. Or that annoys me would be um you know let me say somebody who is always picking on you negatively yeah you'd wonder why do i get that person in my life why is that person in my life but the reason being is that if that person was happy then maybe they wouldn't do that but have it ever occurred to you that some people are just born depressed and it's they can never ever be happy they're like a lesson for humankind that there are some people out there like that and you have to know how to move on from them instead of keep going into them you go into them and you try to share with them you try to help with them and it didn't work you move on from that because you have other people to share your gifts and talents with because if you keep sharing it with someone who does not appreciate it or does not utilize it or cannot utilize it, it's going to suck you down. It's going to kill you. It's going to suck your energies. It's going to take away all the blessings that you have. It's going to engulf you because that's like a, a little form of evil manifesting. You understand? And you have to know when enough is enough. When to let go. When to move on and go back into your comfort zone your space your peace that you know you have and you have been blessed with 
to have to take care of because at the same time going out there and interacting with people you have to set time out for yourself too and if you don't set time out for yourself too it engulfs you right so loving you taking care of you keeping yourself healthy is the most important thing you can do for yourself in life and that is if you are living that's that is what living is about taking care of yourself the best way you can oh this is a big chunk of papaya <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's very chunky. Mm. Why didn't I cut that slice of papaya? I don't know. It is um. It is just seeing how how big how big of a chunk I really can manage to eat at one time because I'm always putting everything in small pieces and sometimes you have to do big too hmm? and that's what life offers to you something comes in small small doses while something comes in big doses hmm? you have money that comes in big doses to you and money that comes in small doses What you gonna do? Turn away the ones that come to you in small doses and only embrace the big ones? Hmm? Or turn away the ones that come to you in big doses because you can't only manage to deal with the small doses? Hmm? No. Embrace all of them. Because <laughs> that is what brings about multi talented. Hmm? You can't just embrace the big ones alone because the big ones. The big ones don't come all the time. Always remember that. And everything you have, small and big. And as as I've often heard about, um, small things comes in small. Pa um, good things comes in small packages. Remember the value of diamond. Hmm? The value of diamond. You see how small diamond is? Mm -hmm. But it comes in a small package, but you see how valuable it is. So it's the same thing. Good things comes in small packages. So I'm a tiny person who they say, and it is, this, the most brilliant people are always small. Hmm? When the rest of your eyes taught them to, here Celestia is only four feet, four feet something tall. Mm? So like a my height thing. So, guys, don't disregard things that you consider to be small. Yeah? Because the small things might just be the most valuable. The most valuable thing in your life and you don't even realize it mm? so I'm on my last fruit in my plate my pineapple slice for my morning as I put myself together for this beautiful day that I'm thankful for hmm that's the old lung I have done my morning meditation with you for and my morning stretch mm. it's 50 minutes almost an hour mm. normally I give you an hour don't it so any more questions any more insights anything you want to know you can ask me I'm here But it's just such a lovely morning. 
to just do your breathing. Are you doing? Just do your breathing. And it's good when you're surrounded by trees, your palms, your bamboos, when you're in an environment with your plants and your greenery, the natural environment, because we remove our sick energy, we replace it with the good energies around you. So the plants, sometimes your plants even take in your sickness and remove it and heal you. So the plants is such good surroundings to have. You know, certain plants, certain plants. Because, you know, in everything. Because even with human beings too. You have some humans that sucks your energy. So you have to know when you go around certain people, how do you feel when you're around them? You know, do you feel weaker or do you feel stronger? Yeah? Do you feel happier or do you feel depressed? Hmm? And you just know who to mix with and who to socialize with or when to take yourself away from them. Because sometimes you can't, um, sometimes you can't, you don't know how you're going to feel until you get in the situation. When you're in the situation, you just have to play it through until afterwards you're doing your weekly reflection, which is encouraged. Always do a weekly reflection or a daily reflection on your day reflect on your day how was it how did it go how did my week go how was that being in that environment how did it feel and then you can know if you felt good or you felt drained and you can observe it was it a positive experience was it a negative experience what were the benefits because sometimes you are in an environment and the benefit is mm, is not what you're expecting because you might go in and say mm, I'm gonna go because I have the saying where you say you mix with rich people you get rich you mix with poor people you get poor um, you mix with celebrities you turn a celebrity you mix with lazy people you turn lazy you mix with sick people you get sick you, 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 you know it just depends so therefore you might go into an intention say I'm gonna be I'm gonna go mix with these rich people because they're rich so I can be rich too but then you find yourself not getting rich and then you have to analyze what it is that is happening why you're not getting rich and you're mixing with these rich people what is it you're getting and then when you look on it if you reflect deeply enough you can see that oh there are other other things that surround these rich people like for instance, when you look, they might be very depressed or they might be very sick or they might be. So then you end up gravitating to different aspects of it and you're like, hmm, something not working out. So therefore, that's why they say you have to, <laughs> you have to um, think on what it is that, or reflect on what it is that you were benefiting from putting yourself in that environment. Some people, you know, as I was saying, I live two, two, two places, three places, because you have a um, place where you can live, sleep, um, you know, go into your comfort zone, you know, places where you can go into your comfort zone as your home, where you would call it your second home, your third home, your this and that. You have places like that. You have people with more than one of those places. Then you have some people who don't even have nowhere to live they have to be begging a catch to live at somebody's house or stay with somebody for a moment or whatever because they don't live nowhere they didn't make that provision they didn't know that was a priority in life and then when they look you're mixing with these people and then they say but wait by the time i look i start acquiring more than one houses you know, I can live there, this is my home, that is my home. They end up with more than one house, three houses, four houses, and where they go. Because the type of people you mix with, that's what they do. They have more than one homes. They have more than one house. So today you might say, I don't have no home, but because I mix with these people, I end up with uh, three homes. I can live here, sir, comfortably here by home. This is my home space. 
When you say, I can go to Portland and have my home there. I can go to Westmoreland and have my home there. And in Kingston, I have my home there. You end up having three homes all over. Right? So, in due time, you will, um, you will figure out over the period of time what it is that you acquire from mixing with certain people. Right? So, in life, I focus on being healthy. And I work hard to be healthy because when you're healthy, all other things can fall into place for you to have a happy life. Yes? As I take care of me and the people around me and the things around me, I try to take care of it to the best of my ability. And I'm grateful and thankful for all the blessings that I've got that enables me to can do that. So namaste. Have a wonderful morning and day now. And bless up. Yeah?